Okay, so we all know Netflix is busy shooting themselves in the foot with literally every choice they make, but you know, they've been putting out some anime, so we keep it moving out for now, and they just put out this movie called Bubble. I'm gonna just say this, with studio, it looks beautiful, I love you, sound design, gorgeous, backgrounds, captivating, but this movie don't make no goddamn sense, I mean, oh my god, you know, since this is an original work, there's a lot of information they need to get across of the world they've created, but the problem is that there's so much that's either not answered or barely explained, told through characters who we really don't care about. Apparently the world was put into some state of panic when the bubbles fell because of their quote unquote mysterious powers. I mean, I guess that fish from Spongebob was right about Bubble Buddy, they dangerous. He poisoned our water supply, burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses! We also don't know about the weird family drama between Uta and her sister, this kid pissing off the bubbles by saying what I can only assume to be a slow and bubble language, or Uta getting space aids whenever she touches Hibiki and nobody else. Then they also have this theme of collapse and we both going on throughout the movie in the form of spirals, which I guess is supposed to be another theme for the main characters, but it honestly kinda just comes off as a tacked on idea and reminds me of that weird Pepsi commercial with how the bubble stopped in ongoing war, and that's only a handful of things that don't really make sense in this movie. But that's not to say there isn't anything of wealth in this movie. Like I said earlier, it's being produced by Wit Studio, so the movie looks beautiful. The parkour that's animated is visually stunning, and they've created this world that revolves around these races and a space where the rules of nature are toned on their head, allowing for some crazy, unbelievable acrobatics. I haven't seen free running in an anime since The Prince of Stride, and even though that sucked, this had a good premise. Going through those races as a way to trade critical supplies is literally all they needed to make this story interesting. They even already have their villains and the wannabe streamers begging for their bits to kill some other players in the race. But nope, they had to include a romance aspect to this movie as well. And this time, your kawaii desu desu anime waifu is a sentient bubble. Yep, weebs will fantasize about literally anything. And you know, I love romance anime, but this plotline just felt smushed together with the parkour racing. We don't even really see the two interact all that much to form such a close bond, except for saving the guy a few times, which is apparently also a cure to the MC's hypersensitive hearing. Another tacked on aspect of the movie that he's just like, nah, I'm over it, near the end of the whole thing. And the worst part is, they pretty much tell you how it's gonna end from the beginning, because they copy the original Little Mermaid story, they beat you over the head with the story so many times during the film that when the ending actually happens, it's lost any emotional value that it could have had. And this Little Mermaid story doesn't even have a building shaped like a penis on the background, so it just sucks. I know at this point in media, subverting expectations is the new expectation, but this could have really benefited from it since the journey and the destination were pretty lackluster. Similar to plenty of anime originals, it falls into the same trap of doing way too much with the time given. The movie is only like a hundred minutes long and has two parts to it that could have benefited if the focus shifted to one of them instead. Or hell, Uta's sister could have been removed entirely and the story could have focused on him reaching the, reaching the top of Tokyo Tower if they wanted to keep the romance and parkour aspects. I've seen a lot of people saying that this should have been a series instead, and I would agree with them. It definitely would have allowed Hibiki and Uta's relationship to grow naturally and slow things down for deeper dives into what's going on. I mean, I, I don't know. I went into this movie with pretty much zero expectations and still left disappointed, but um, that's pretty par for the course with Netflix nowadays, isn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna end it there. Let me know if there's other movies you want me to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.